the drought is causing a real problem for Atlantic salmon. After a life at sea, they're gathering by the mouth of their home river, close to Amansui Castle on Harris. To complete their life cycle, they need to swim upstream to spawn. They've traveled here from Greenland to do this. But the last stage of their long journey is impossible, as the river is too low. It's not a problem for dippers. They work the riverbed for insects which thrive in the bubbling water. Unable to advance, the waiting salmon are being picked off by grey seals. It'll take a great deal of rain to raise the river enough for the fish to advance. In the hills above the castle, a family of red-throated divers are also at a turning point in their lives. The two chicks are growing fast, and they're hungry but one is larger and more aggressive. It's quite rare for a second chick to even get this far. Usually it would lose out on most of the feeds and die. But fish have been so plentiful this year that both chicks are almost ready to head out to sea. They just need to learn how to fly. The parents take off and land to show their youngsters exactly how it's done. But it's a challenging skill to master. This chick still has some way to go. You also need a lot of extra lift when your home is surrounded by mountains this steep. They don't have long. There's a change in the air. Autumn will be closing in soon. Storm clouds are building. In a narrow sea lock in South Uist, 60 pilot whales have become trapped. They're creatures of the open ocean, but they may have followed a shoal of squid into this dangerous place. It's not good. They're not used to being hemmed in like this, and the younger whales are starting to panic. Several have cut themselves on the sharp rocks.
their distress grows. The shore is dangerously close. Stranding is now a real possibility. But luck is on their side. The tide is rising, opening the door of their prison, and the pod starts to move back towards safety in the open ocean. It's almost a relief after four weeks of drought, when normal Hebridean weather returns. of Harris, the rivers are swelling and the water thunders towards the sea. Finally on their way. The summer rain has replenished the Macair lands too. Crops are ripening as the wild flowers set seed. In the Uists, crofters will soon be bringing the harvest in. But there's always seed to spare for small mammals, which is good news for birds of prey. A recently fledged short-eared owl watches one of its parents quarter the fields, hunting for mice and voles. The mac hare is quieter now. The wading birds have moved off the fields and onto the beach. Seaweed, washed up by the spring storm, is rotting quickly in the midsummer heat. Hordes of insects have been attracted to feed on the decaying piles. Springtails eat bacteria that break down the kelp. the tide sweeps in, they swarm into clusters. On the surface, they're fair game for passing turns.
In time, these piles of kelp will be laid on the Macair, and the richness of the ocean will revitalize the crofters' fields. It's September, and across the Uists, ancient machinery grinds into life. It's harvest time. Once the crops are cut, they're gathered into sheaves and then piled into stooks and stacks. It's a system practiced here for centuries. It works for people. And it works for wildlife too. But the knowledge of how delicately it all fits together is fading along with this generation of crofters. The high school on Bembecula is addressing this dilemma by offering a special crofting course. Students get hands-on experience of the fine art of stooking and stacking. Up. See, we have to just keep it tight in together. So the water's gonna shed off one onto the next, onto the next. Hold on. What do you call it? You've probably heard it on your crew. Oh, yeah. I'll see that, though. Yeah. Oh, start from here. It's not just popular, it's oversubscribed. It's up to this generation of school leavers to decide whether the Macair lives on. And these are exactly the people who will be the most tempted to leave the Outer Isles for a mainland, mainstream life. As summer turns to autumn, the gannets, divers and terns will leave these islands and spread out across the globe.